this weekend is the Some Like It Hot Festival here at Fresh. And some of my favorite spicy dishes actually come from Thai cuisine. So I'm going to take my favorite chili paste here and a couple of other ingredients back to the kitchen and I'll show you a Thai stir fry. So what we're making today is a Thai stir fry and it has chili paste and cashews. And what I've already done here is I've got some green onions in the pan that have sauteed and two chicken breasts that I cubed. And I'm just going to get in a little bit of garlic as well. And I want to go ahead and get my chicken all the way cooked through and then I'll start building the sauce. So I've got my chicken cooked all the way through. Now I'm going to get in my cashew nuts. I've just toasted those just a little bit in a dry pan to get the nice oils going. And now I'm going to put in my sauce ingredients. So this is a roasted red pepper chili paste. It's got a lot of really great smoky flavor and it's also going to give you a good bit of heat as well. And then you're going to get in some sugar and also some fish sauce. Now this is kind of, this is typical in Asian cooking. It's a perfect balance of sweet, salty, um, bitter, and also heat. So you've got all of your different flavor elements working together and balanced together. And there's really no substitute for the chili paste. It's, it's just something that's very, it's a very classic Thai flavor. Actually, this was one of my favorite dishes at a Thai restaurant in Houston that I used to go to. And I finally figured out how to replicate it. So I was pretty excited when I did that. So you just want to let this get nice and saucy, bring it up to a little bit of a simmer. If it starts to look a little bit too sticky, you can put in just a little bit of chicken broth. So I'm going to get my sauce coming together and then I'll show you how we're going to plate it. So this sauce came together beautifully. In just a couple of minutes it got nice and thick and it's glazed my chicken and the cashews and you are done when you get to that point. So then you just want to put it over some rice and you can really smell the fish sauce. It's a little bit strong that's why it's important to balance it with equal parts sugar and then you'll have a wonderful Asian flavor going here and then you can just top that with a little bit of green onions and enjoy some of the wonderful Thai spice. So you can find this recipe in Wednesday's flavor section of the Tyler paper or on CBS19.tv.